Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So, in this lesson we're going to look at a different type of dipole-dipole and I've called it dipole-dipole on steroids. So you'll see what I mean by that. What I want us to do is to draw a water molecule. Okay, well I'm just going to give you hydrogen and oxygen. If we look at our periodic table we can see that hydrogen is in group 1, so it's got one valence electron and oxygen is in group 6, so it's got six valence electrons. And so we can bond this one electron over there and then we would need an extra hydrogen to be able to bond over there. And so the final structure would look like this. Now we just need to make sure that it's covalent and so we know that hydrogen has an electronegativity of 2.1 and oxygen is 3.5. And so if you minus those two, you get 1.4, which is less than 2.1. And so this is definitely covalent. The reason we always need to check that is because remember, if it's ionic or metallic, then there are no intermolecular forces. There are no intermolecular forces and then we'd actually just be wasting our time. So in the previous lesson, we looked at five different types of intermolecular forces. But then I said towards the end of that lesson that certain types of dipole-dipole molecules can have a different type of bonding called hydrogen bonding. So let me quickly draw another water molecule. And so here, here we have two water molecules. Now let's quickly look if, and see if these water molecules are polar or nonpolar. Well, we know that oxygen is more electronegative and so the arrow would do that. And then this arrow would do that. And so would the arrows cancel each other out? No, they wouldn't. And so this molecule is not balanced. So it is polar. If the arrows cancel out, then it's nonpolar. So we have a polar and another polar molecule. Now remember another name for polar is dipole and dipole. And so in the previous lesson, we would have called this a dipole dipole. But there is an exception to the rule. If you have molecules where you have hydrogen bonded with either nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, which are the three musketeers up here in the top right corner, then we get a totally different kind of bonding, which is called hydrogen bonding. It's the same as dipole-dipole, but it's a little bit stronger. Now, there's a whole lot of chemistry as to the reasons why it's stronger, but in summary, it's got to do with the fact that nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine have a very high electronegativity, and they are also very small atoms. They have a very tiny radius. And so the force that you're gonna get between, the intermolecular force that we're gonna see between these molecules is quite strong. It's the strongest intermolecular force that we get. Now something that's a little annoying is that they call it hydrogen bonding, but it's not a bond. Remember, it's just a force of attraction. It's like a magnet. It's not an actual bond, so you must, so you must always refer to it. You can call it hydrogen bonding, but always refer to it as an intermolecular force. So if you ever have hydrogen bonded to nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, then there will be hydrogen bonding. Where a lot of students make mistakes is that they say that this is the hydrogen bond over here. Guys, that is a bond inside the actual molecule. So remember, that is called an intramolecular. And that can only be covalent, ionic, or metallic. When we're talking about hydrogen bonding, we're talking about this bond over here that is in between two separate molecules. That's the hydrogen bonding, okay? So just look out for that. So just remember that we've looked at intramolecular, and these are your things like covalent, ionic, and metallic. Now we have looked at intermolecular. Some people remember, some of my students say that inter is like the word international and international is makes you think of countries and so you've got different countries so intermolecular are the forces that are between different molecules they are not the forces that are inside the actual molecule that is called intramolecular and so we had five different types in the previous lesson we had dipole-dipole, 
that was between two polar molecules then we had dipole induced dipole and that is between one polar plus one nonpolar then we had London which is between two nonpolars then we had iron dipole which is between an iron and a polar molecule then we had iron induced dipole which is between an iron plus a nonpolar and then in this lesson in this lesson we looked at hydrogen bonding even though it's not a bond it's actually a force which is the same as dipole dipole but it's a special type it's when you have nitrogen so let's rather say hydrogen bonded to nitrogen oxygen or fluorine okay now we're gonna quickly rank these in terms of strength so these over here are the strongest they are very very strong these ones on the right hand side they are very weak but the strongest one is going to be hydrogen bonding then it's going to be dipole dipole and then I'm not going to rank the others but you must understand that London forces they are the weakest of all London forces are the weakest of all hydrogen bonding is the strongest that's very important that you understand that hydrogen bonding is very strong but it's not even close to these ones over here these intramoleculars are so strong compared to these intermolecular forces